A major hurdle to developing successful stem cell therapies is the difficulty of getting transplanted cells to the place in the body where they're needed. In fact, researchers in the Institute for Cell Engineering's Vascular Biology program are working on an even more fundamental problem. That is, once stem cells are transplanted into the body, how do we know where they are and what they're doing? One approach Jeff Bolte's research group is exploring is to tag stem cells with nanoparticles that can be traced through the body with magnetic resonance imaging, or MRI. Such nanoparticles could be designed to reveal not only where stem cells are, but whether they are still alive. Bolte's colleague, Asaf Galad, is taking a slightly different tack. His research team is developing new proteins and metal-based imaging materials that would enable doctors to use MRI to safely detect the behavior of not only stem cells, but also other types of cells in the body. The aim of Piotr Walczak's laboratory is to use MRI to help guide stem cells to areas of the brain that have been damaged by stroke or other trauma. In addition to studying how stem cells navigate through the brain, Miroslav Janowski's group also investigates how they interact with the host immune system and how to get stem cell-based therapies to patients. In my laboratory, we study how the body responds to a temporary loss of blood and oxygen to an area. For example, what is the chain of events unleashed in heart disease, and how does it affect blood vessel growth? Better understanding of this chain of events could lead to new therapies for everything from heart disease to burns to cancer. By building on knowledge of how blood vessels grow and develop and how transplanted cells move through them, we aim to make the promise of regenerative medicine a reality. We invite you to explore our website and learn more about our research and the training opportunities that are available here.